Thank you. One new video right here on Slice and Dice and Gaming Entertainment. I'm Terry Williams. Thank you uh, so much for clicking on this video and hanging out with me for a little bit. So in this video, in, in this video we're just going to do like the off season of year three of my dynasty on College Bowl. Um, the video is going to go a little bit faster because it's pretty quiet. I was kind of, you know, let me just speed through the video a little bit and I'm just going to kind of talk over a little bit. So we went through everything. As you know, in the last video, we lost our first playoff game. So we got kicked out the playoffs. Uh, I actually was offered a couple of offers from some other colleges. But you know, since I created uh, Typhoon State University, I created the Armada. I was going to stay with the Armada. You see, we have our goals for this year. And the primary goal is to uh, make the playoffs. At least, well, we had to go to the playoffs at least one of the three years of my contract. And that's like the primary goal. There's some other goals in there. And the big goal is to win a national championship. Um, we had two players that I tried to, that were leaving the program. I tried to persuade them to stay, but neither one of them did. So I think they both went to the draft. We had like a bunch of seniors graduating. So the team, I think I only ended up with nine scholarships offers when I started getting to recruiting and stuff like that. I guess I want to uh, kind of speak through this a little bit. Um, recruiting is still kind of weird because again, it's not like some of the other college games where you can just kind of recruit whoever. And then, um, you know, you just kind of recruit. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, so it's not like other games. We have like, you know, you recruit. You just pick players. And then after you recruit, you can choose, you know, okay, I'm going to let go of this guy. I'm going to go of this person. You do it kind of weird where, of course, you like you don't know the rating of the players. So if you get, like, another defensive lineman who maybe you like and you recruit him, you have to get rid of one of your current defensive linemen on the team. And you have to, you know, of course, you try to get rid of the lower rated player or you try to you try to find a spot for them. But it's kind of hard because sometimes you get rid of someone who might be pretty decent, but because you just, you know, you just recruited somebody, you have to get rid of them. This is like the transfer portal because like, I think I gave up, a, uh, yeah, where I had like a, someone transfer over who's an 86. So I gave up my right guard who's like a 69. I think he was just a walk on player. But then I had to let go of someone to let go. So I had to, like, I had my quarterback, my defensive end, or my wide receiver. I ended up picking the wide receiver and letting him transfer out because I figured I had a bunch of wide receivers. That I didn't want to do, but it is what it is. But yeah, then we got to get into the recruiting. So I don't mind recruiting. It is kind of difficult. Um, my new recruiting facility did help a lot with recruiting because I could see, like, more gyms and who was a bus and stuff like that. I don't think I ended up recruiting any gyms because no one really fit what I wanted to do. So maybe at the end of year four, I try to get some more recruits. And I might even have some more scholarships, but just depending on the team and everything like that. And our prestige hasn't gone up that high either. So let's see how that goes. So I was going back and forth, you know, between this roster pace, you know, like what we need and, um, you know, cause, uh, like what we're going to need, but it's just, you don't get like just a pool. You can't just draft, like, you know, maybe you have 20 scholarships. You just draft 20 players. And after you do the draft, and then after, not draft, but you recruit 20 players. And after that, you can kind of pick and choose who you want to keep, who you let go of, and stuff like that. So that's one thing that's weird about the recruiting. That's not an option. It's just, you recruit, you know, you recruit a cornerback, and he signs. Okay, now you have to get rid of one of the corners on your team, which you might, and then you don't know how good that recruit is compared to who's on your team. So it's kind of. It's kind of weird like that. Uh, I had some instant recruits. I forget. How, I'm not sure. I forget how we did in terms of overall recruiting. I think we did pretty well. I'm not sure how many four stars. But we, we only get nine players. So I'm not sure how many like three. I know we got a couple three stars. I how many four stars we got. But as you can see on the screen, you see like the diamond for the gym. It's either trash for, you know, their bus. So I didn't, don't think I drafted any trash players. And I don't think I got any gyms either. So I'm going to try to prioritize maybe uh, gym players. In recruiting going forward but we'll see so um i just want to talk a little bit and i'm going to play some music <laughs> and i'm going to speed through the, the recruiting so just kind of vibe out kind of watch the screen see how i recruit and stuff like that and thank you so much for supporting the video thank you so much for watching the college dynasty video i know this is probably my longest series so far on the channel it's over 20 episodes so far thank you so much for everyone who likes the videos appreciate the videos appreciate the content again i know like you know when college bowl or when uh college football 25 came out my videos were probably going to take a hit because everyone's going to be playing that and talking about that. But thank you to everyone who enjoys the College Bowl videos, people who play the game, ask questions. I'll try to fill in what I can. I don't know a whole lot about the game, but I'll answer what I can. So, But thank you so much for everyone that likes the videos, rock with the videos, and I appreciate these videos coming out. There's really a schedule for them. I just kind of drop them whenever. They can drop like days in a row. They might be a week off. It depends on how I feel and what's happening. So, yeah. So, again, 
Thank you for your support. Of course, like, share, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. We're on the road to 100,000 total channel views. So those are both really exciting milestones for me. So we're going to keep it rocking. So always and forever, slice and dice and gaming. It's not just a motto. It's lifestyle. I'll see you in the next video. Later. Thank you.